What is going on, you guys? My name is Cornchip, and welcome back to the Sun God's Wrath. We're about to start chapter 16, as usual. I'll give you the lowdown here. We can bring 16 units, which is actually pretty nice. And uh, Catherine, Evan, Condor, Jenna, and Kieran are all fatigued. And that's very scary, because Kieran, Jenna, and Evan are healers, and basically the only healers I use. So, my only source of healing in this level is going to be Joanne. And obviously I have the fatigue potions I could use on one of the healers to bring them in, but I'm just gonna stick with, I'm gonna keep not using any fatigue potions. Uh, if I really struggle with this level, then I'll probably like reset and then maybe bring Kieran since she's an amazing healer. Uh, but other than that, because we have 16 people and so many of them are fatigued as well, or you know, I've got Dex back. I don't think I had her last time. I've got Janet again. I'm going ahead and bringing Jerome, even though he's pretty far behind in the levels. I'm bringing Iris, even though she's like a, well, tier EX, so whatever, but she's pretty powerful. Since I can't bring Catherine, I'm gonna bring Kenton, because I liked him. Even though I was like, I already have Catherine, so I don't really need to bring him. But now since Catherine's fatigued, Kenton's coming in, and then Germano, just because even though he's also kind of behind in levels, really all these people are. Or these three. But a Germano, when I was using him in the level, he like got recruited in or whatever, and I think a couple levels after that maybe. He was pretty dang useful, so might as well. And yeah, there are a lot of people to choose from, I know. A lot of them are already super behind. Like, apparently Fuma can promote into that Executioner class I really liked, but since he's kind of behind too, I... I'm not worrying about it right now. It's whatever. Once I finish this series, I'll probably be playing this game a decent amount on my own, like not recording it anymore, just because I want to see more of the supports, I want to use different characters, yada yada. Anyway, let's get started. We have a lot of units to check out. Ooh, hold on a sec. Sorry, I just had to listen to that music for a second. It's pretty dang cool. I'm sure some of you will recognize it from something. I don't know if it's a Fire Emblem song or from something else. Anyway. We have a lot of units to check out. Here's Clea. This is Ryan's daughter. She's an extremely talented magic user. She has her own scroll, which is good for HP and defense and movement, not speed though. And she has Crimson Eye. Oh, I guess she heals too, so I feel a little better about that now. And then for whatever reason, she's carrying a Brave Axe. I don't know why. And as for her skills... She's got Hex, Kanto, the Anathema, however you say that, and Dark Aura. When she uses Dark Magic, she's even more powerful. And then we can take a quick peek around the map. I gotta kill all these units. There's apparently 45 of them. And because it's Blade Master, we'll probably see some reinforcements. Lots of dragons to take care of, too. And then there's a lot of units down here. Here's Loptir. We saw her in the little intro stuff. She's a commander of the Dragon Army. Um, and she's got basically bad news skills for me. However, she has a scroll that we will collect when we kill her. Although it's not good for speed, just really good for defense and resistance. And then we've got Doris. We saw her too. She's the 3rd Division Commander of the Orca Pirates. Got a Master Seal, an Axe. I think she was good against other Axes. Yeah. And then we got Lynch. I'm actually shocked if we're going to be killing him on this level. That seems pretty crazy. Kuroth's lover, a man with a mission. And yeah, I remember now, his name is Kuroth. So I don't know if Kuroth is trying to kill Pyrin as well. That seems kind of strange, I guess. And then we got his four uh, men he brought along. I mean, I think they all, they're all one of Lynch's men. I think they all have the solar shine which can't crit, but negates res, which is pretty scary, I think. And then they all have the same skills, which is nice thighs. And then basically when their HP is lower, they do really well. So if I'm gonna fight them, I gotta like, knock them out before they're just low HP. Anyway, I guess it's time to get started. I don't really have a plan. I never have a plan. 
Yeah, Jerome is so far behind in levels that I, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Oh, I was hoping he could reach this, but he can't. I forgot deserts are not good for people that aren't mages, such as Kenton here. Okay, maybe we'll hold off on that. And then also, like I said, the desert has items to pick up, but I don't know enough about all of that to... I don't know, like, I know they said a dancer or a magic swords person would be able to find them, but I don't know if it actually shows up visibly or if I have to find them some other way. I have no clue. Like, do I just have to wait on a position I think an item's at, and then it'll be like, oh, here you go, you got one. Because how am I supposed to know where they are? I don't know. I say over and over again. But I need to finally attack some people. Ulysses can't reach anyone. Charles can, but I think that's... probably scary to do. Well, it's actually not too bad. And then I have Raylina over here, because I wanted her to be able to attack and then help Lex, although... I think they might actually be too far apart anyway. Unfortunately for me. And Raylina's holding onto a Master Seal, because she's somewhat close to 20. Lex is very close to 20, so he's got his. Eighteen damage, that sucks, but we'll try this. Nice crit. One HP, really? That's unfortunate. Maybe I'll give the kill... I could give it to Charles. Before I do that, though, let me see if I can take care of these other dragons. Oh, also, I gave the Angelic Robe to Artemis and already used it because she had pretty low HP and I felt like she's kind of squishy, and if I'm going to use her to go, like, steal items sometimes. I want her to be able to take more hits. That was my reasoning there. I guess we're already gonna start using Artemis for some heals. We haven't seen her heal animation before, I don't think. Because we've never needed to use it. Until now. Okay, I'll just let Charles get the kill, and then we'll see what happens. As usual, I'm just gonna really feel out this first level, and... Things will probably go wrong. What do I even use for you? That's not bad, but you'll take 17 damage. Oh. Wow. Do I really want to do that? I feel like your Holy Stone's so useful, I shouldn't use it too much, but we're gonna use it. That's the problem I'm running into, um, which isn't... Which isn't unique to Fire Emblem, like, it's literally every game I play. Where you, you know, can collect items, but kind of have... Well, you might not have a limit, but... I just want to stockpile all the items, because I'm like, I really gotta save this for when I really need it and then I never actually use them because I'm always just like, no, I gotta save it, I gotta save it. Oh man, his hit chance is not great. We'll try this, maybe he'll join my club. That'd be super cool. Darn it, I was really hoping. Oh wait, Jerome could actually... Maybe kill... If he misses an 83 though, it's uh, not gonna be very good for him. So let's try the 93. And maybe he'll join the- nope. <laughs> Sweet, you can hit harder now. I'd prefer some speed though. She needs to give the axe to someone. Or I guess... Oh, you can't reach. Of course you can't. 
And then, oh, I already moved Germano. I was like, where did Germano go? Let's just dance for Ulysses, I guess. Oh yeah, the slower, not Joanne dance. I have not missed you. What? Was that one of the desert items? Excuse me? Um... That doesn't mean there's like a secret store there, does it? Because that's usually like, if an enemy has it. Oh, uh, you can just wait. I did that because, you know, I can move Derek not close enough, actually. And then, I don't even know if you actually have a effective weapon for this. This might have been a mistake. They're not armored. Like, I want to do this, but if she doesn't kill... You know... Astria could come and give her some support, though. Take some damage in the meantime. Oh my gosh. Got a crit. I'm worried, though, because, yeah, these people can advance, and... Oh, no. I We're probably gonna... Oopsie. We're probably gonna lose. Just so everybody's aware. If you could get a crit, that'd be super dope. She didn't. <laughs> And then, like I said, I wanted Kenton to, like, get on the fort, but he can't even reach. And I don't want him to fight someone who's in a fort. Oh, I also gave him a sword, since he promoted and can now use swords. Maybe Dex should go with them? I don't know, man. I mean, I can kill the dragon with her, probably, but then I think the counterattacks are going to be real scary. If I got to restart, so be it, like I said. Oh, I'm going to have to wait for like 45 units to move every turn? Well, a little less. I killed some. And now I don't know what's happening. I guess they had to calculate what they wanted to do. Ooh, that hurt. Can the other one reach her too? Because if so, she might die. He sure can. Oh yeah, I forgot she had advantage. That confused me. Alright, I survived. <laughs> For now. Oh, a dragon with claws. They don't have the stones. They don't have the stones. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I'll just move you here. And Elfire, please don't miss Jerome. That'd make me sad. Oh, they look pretty cool. They're dead now, but they looked pretty cool. Derek's not going to attack anyone, so I guess let's see what's in this house. Oh. It's Jake and Anna. Yeah, that's, we got air in there. And now for the future hint. Regal left you one last and final gift in the desert. Find it if you can. Who's Regal again? I don't know who, I don't remember who Regal is. I'm stupid. Janet could attack, but that seems kind of silly. Germano can attack. Oh man, you're so far behind, that makes me sad. Sad that this happens to you. <laughs> Let's see, will she kill? Not unless she gets a crit. I was half expecting her to miss both attacks anyway, because, you know, that's how my luck literally always goes. Oh gosh, not having... Kieran really sucks, I'll say that much. Okay, so a bunch of axes are coming in, but also a sword reaver, which is not great. How badly would that hurt Kenton? I don't actually know. I mean, I could just put Daedalus here with the axe out. 
Oops. And see if he can just tank everything. Because none of them will have, like, weapon triangle effectiveness. And then they can't hit Kenton. Or Dex, for that matter. Kind of want to, like... If I send her up here, though, this person will be able to hit her, unless I went ranged. But how much do I care about going ranged? Because if her Holy Stone is super effective against all these people... Oh, that might be a big waste of experience, but... For other units, I mean, but... If she can just go and knock a bunch of these dragons out, can I really complain? Kind of, because she gets, like, no experience that would be so valuable for other people. I guess I'll heal Lex, even though a lot of other people, whoopsie, need the healing. I've got two healers, though. I need to give Clea a different thing besides the Physic. Oh yeah, she can actually trade and uh, heal in the same turn. Wait. Supply is what I wanted. Oh, okay, well, I don't have any heals, so I guess we're gonna take a mend. Gotta get Astria back up. How does your hatchet do? I'm just like... I don't want to keep using your hatchet, though. Do... Uh, whatever, I don't care. Because if you miss, I don't think it loses durability. And it's still Savage Blowed, which is interesting. Get a crit. Darn it. Why aren't we riding camels? That's the real question. I should have checked if Janet could heal. I don't remember if she has any staff skill. Let me check. No, just the sword. Please don't miss. I just realized that was a thing that could happen. Alright. I guess Roa needs the experience the most. If he even hits these anyway. 63% is not very kind. The suspense. There it is. Camel's just too nimble, you know? Let me double check. Okay. You would be fine here. I really miss my healer, Kieran. I don't know what that was, like, even attempted to be to the tune of. <laughs> okay, so this person would run in... So I could give her her Shadow Killer again. Wait, but it's a dragon. It's not a monster. Do I have a dragon-effective sword? I kind of doubt it. Man, I don't want a turtle, but I'm also scared of Astria taking damage. I really should have just let Kirin, uh, given her a fatigue potion thing. Oh, they're moving. Interesting. All right, let's see how Daedalus does. One down. He's gonna eat all that experience I would have liked for Kenton, but the Sword Slayer scared me. Is this the Sword Slayer? Can't tell. I think it was. He actually took enough damage to where I'm somewhat worried about him now. He got a fat level, though. Dang it. Nice crit, though. 
What do you have, half a chance to hit and he did? I wasn't paying enough attention, as usual. Alright, she's gonna be out now. 14 HP? Not about it. I wish you would've joined the club, Iris. Ow. I don't know if that would pick up over the mic, but my frickin', like, arm just... shoulder just popped. Oh, reinforcements, of course. Daedalus is not getting enough HP to make him feel better. <laughs> okay, so we've got another trio of, like, people that are good for Lance users, and then suddenly, just kidding. What if I just move Kenton here so he can take on this guy? Oh, or is he after Derek? Not the best chance, and I probably should have you with Astria anyway. Is this guy advancing? Whoopsie. Maybe? This guy with the spear is advancing, and he's pretty powerful. Ooh, let's do it. Goodbye, dragon. And speaking of dragons... Lex probably can't read. She's pretty close, though, but then if I send him up there... He'd actually... I think he'd be okay. How far can Joanne go? Oh, but Joanne needs to, like, heal people. Dang it! Forget it, she's not healing. We're gonna... Use her for dancing. Whoopsie. So much faster than her daughter. Die, dragon. Maybe, hopefully. If you don't, Iris can probably handle the rest, so... Are you for real? Miss 280s! Why wouldn't I, you know? So stupid. Great. Now what? Iris can't keep fighting or she's gonna die. I wish you'd just get the crit, then you wouldn't have to take damage. Or, you know, he can miss the 80 like Lex just missed two. Okay, I actually wasn't expecting you to, but I'll take it. It's only fair. Since 80s apparently means uh, actually 0% chance to hit. Oh yeah, I gave her healing. I already forgot because I'm an idiot. Also, I don't know where the hidden items in the sand are. <laughs> also, I should have sent other people up here besides just these peeps. Switch to Iron Blade just in case. Dex, I really don't know what to do with. The only one who's going to be reached is Kenton, so... She has her Sword Slayer, at least. Those are so useful. Okay, he's not reaching anyone. It's really just this guy I gotta worry about, I think. I could also just not attack this guy. And just stick him in front of Astria. And then... you're not even... close. Wait, what if Jerome could heal? He can't. <laughs> Clay is someone else I feel like I should be using to fight, but I just don't have the heals. So I gotta have her healing. I'm worried about Derek, but I don't want to put Raylina or Germano out there because... Neither of them are in good shape. Can you reach now? God, the sand is so annoying with a horse. He made absolutely no progress. I feel like I just wasted the dance, really. I think Derek can handle one dude attacking him, right? What's his speed? 12. 
versus 14. Okay, you're not gonna get doubled. I think you'll be fine. I don't want Roa there, though. What can you... Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Because it wouldn't do anything? Anyway... Okay, Derek or Charles. I'm sure they're gonna attack Charles. Oh wait, you can rally though. Let's do that. Okay, maybe so far so good? I don't really know. Alright, let's see how Kenton does. I don't remember if his animations are on or not. They're supposed to be. That did a lot of damage. And you don't even double. Well, that's upsetting. Top right might be... Well, top, I guess, might not be in the best shape to be fighting people more. Well, they went after Charles after all. That's an interesting choice. Oh no! My Iron Axe! Did the music change or am I just stupid? It's very possible I'm just stupid. Oh god, her hit chance is so bad, even with a Sword Slayer. And then the Lance Reaver would uh, be very painful. Could they even reach you though? Judging from that, it doesn't look like it, but your defense is so bad, if you get hit just a little bit, you're not going to be in the best shape, which is very scary. Also, this guy could probably reach you, and he's got a Sword Reaver as well. What do I do? I don't think people can fall back very easily. Can you even rescue this guy? You can. What do you have right now? Okay. Gotta fall back, which is really boring. He'll still be able to hit Dex. But I think she can handle one attack. Who can even go up there to help? Like, nobody can reach there in time. This guy's got another spear. Okay. And if I send Charles to go attack, then he's gonna be hit by some dragons. And I'm still probably going to have to use Clea to heal people. <laughs> I could just use Jerome. Feed him some experience. Well, if he hits, and he might not. Yes! Another level. Get some dank stats, dude. Uh, that's alright, I guess. You're just going to be a glass cannon for me? I don't know if I like that. More healing. <laughs> and then some dancing. Hi, Clea, you're pretty cool. Dark Riders are pretty cool. I just realized her animations haven't been on, I don't think. And she's definitely not a member of the club, so we gotta turn those on. See her in action. Oh god. I was gonna say I could send her to go fight this boss, but uh, Malcolm and Verde would really hurt her. And we don't want that, do we? 68%. Also not great. Lex, you're killing me, dude. Seventy-three is better, a little bit. <laughs> you don't need it right now. Yes, I'm aware, I sent it. Alright, so he can help me with the dragon if I need it, and I 
we'll probably need it. Yeah, I gotta get you out of there. Port with Janet? Eh. Family's ports are not actually boring, I shouldn't say that, but like... I want something more interesting. I don't want to keep using Astria, she takes too much damage. I really should have given her the Angelic Robe. See, look at all that damage she took. It hurts. It's painful. And you wouldn't even kill with that. What about this? Yeah, but 85s. Oh, or you can do that. Alright, it's promotion time. Nice speed. Ooh, what's that? Anything for more Lex power. Wow, he gets more critical. That's actually pretty dang awesome. Skill times 1.5, so 30. Am I doing that right? I'm pretty stupid, so I might not be. Okay, how do I want to deal with this person? Also, screw it, we're gonna use a physic. Clay is gonna get all of her experience from healing. That's it. That's all she gets. So what did this guy have again? Spear. Okay, this guy has a horrible chance to hit Charles, so... I didn't crit, but whatever. Who all can he hit now? Still Astria, still Lex. Still Jerome, which I think would be very bad. And you can't reposition anyone to go help because you just can't even move. I shouldn't have even brought him. To be honest. What if I eclipse him? Ugh. 39% chance? Awful. <laughs> this is bad, I think. Wait, 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 wait. You're on the eclipse. I hate that. Okay, so Jerome's in danger. Lex is probably in danger, but he's pretty heavy, isn't he? She can't rescue. I'm sure... I'm sure you could, Ulysses, but you can't even reach because you're too... thick. Lex might... die. Which is not great. Wait a minute. Let's get their A support. Maybe that'll help. I give up. Eight arrows this time? I won't stop until I can shoot my whole quiver in one massive attack. I'd be like a one-man battalion. Whatever. Just don't go get yourself killed out there. I hate to see all my effort spent protecting you to go to waste. What? But I developed these skills to protect you. Then you clearly haven't learned much fighting with me. Stay close, Lex. I'll show you how to do things right. Raylena, I wish... That was actually accurate to you. What am I trying to say? I wish you actually could protect Lex. Oh boy. And you legit can't do anything. Guess I'll move you forward and see if he comes after you, which he won't. Lex, please be okay. And Roa, for that matter. I think Roa would be fine if he attacked. It's Lex I'm worried about. I could... No, I couldn't block him with Artemis, because he can go from both sides. Also, did we even get far enough away from this? We sure didn't. Is it worth rescuing Joanne? Maybe. I don't know. It's falling apart, gang. Oh, he ran away to heal. Oh my gosh, I'm sure my cat's meows are being picked up. I think... Oh, she's right here. What are you doing? Oh 
god, don't double her, please. She's usually pretty fast, yeah. Oh, he might be in trouble, because that bottom one's also going to hit him, right? Oh, I'm scared. Didn't even level up. Are we done? Oh boy. You know, I think I will end this right here. What turn are we on? We're on turn five. That's pretty good. I guess. <laughs> we're in uh, not the best shape and we're getting surrounded and Charles is in danger. These people are kind of in danger. There's lots going on. But I'm going to have to tackle it next time. So anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so very much for watching. If you made it this far, I'm assuming you enjoyed the episode. So consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the Small Crit Club. It really helps me out. And I will see you all next time. Bye.